Hello everyone and welcome back to Dog Sled Saga and we are here with our kennel. Look at everybody. Lavender, Copper, Eggnog, Miles, Chicken, Dexter, Bear, and a little Sapphire who I am so excited to have. I really hope we can figure out Sapphire, our Husky. I think she's the only Husky we have. We have a Husky and a Malamute and many Labradors. I think, you know what, I think we have so many Labradors because my uncle used to breed Labradors and so I'm a little bit partial to them without even meaning to be. And although I love chicken, I mean, think about him. Isn't he just the sweetest thing? A big old giant St. Bernard named Chicken who has a habit of tripping over his own clumsy paws. So adorable. Dexter, as usual, is so awesome. All of our dogs are awesome. I want to take them on so many races. And today I want to get new dogs. I just really am excited to think how we could get a whole bunch of dogs. I'm surprised there's not something that makes it so that you have to pay more money to maintain so many amazing puppies. But we're actually, oh no, happiness up good. But Lavender, do you need to be happy? She needs perfectly timed catches. So we need to take Lavender out on the next race for sure. And Lavender is actually one of our wheel dogs. She has her specialty wheel three. She's got a very strong personality too. I really wish we could find, no, her happiness is going down. Hang in there, Lavender, hang in there. I really wish we could find all of the dog's aptitudes. So we'll kind of try working on that today. It is a clear weather race, long, windy, good snow quality, a little bit, oh, occasional restocks. I'm gonna have to be very careful with treats then. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. We'll have Lavender in, and then Copper has figured out that his specialty is being in the middle. Um, Eggnog's fatigue is still pretty high. Let's go ahead. Switch to Dexter. I haven't used Dexter for a while, so it's probably important to do that. And then Miles, who is another one? A Sapphire, Sapphire I think is, yeah, our obedient. So let's give Sapphire an opportunity to come on out and to try to learn how to be a good dog uh, for the lead. There you go, guys. All right, we're all the way at the back right now. Hang in there, Sapphire. All right, gotta be so careful with treats. So careful with treats. As I throw a treat on the ground, dang it. And I didn't give Lavender what she wanted, which was a perfectly timed catch. Okay, gotta be really, really careful. Can't just chuck these things all over the place today. All right, there we go. Oh, hang in there, Sapphire. Don't get all tangled. Come on, Lavender. Yes, all right, she had her favorite thing. I managed to get Lavender a perfectly timed catch, thank goodness. All right, Copper, hang in there, Copper. All right, there we go, gotta get Sapphire. Oh no, Lavender, you startled me, oh good. Sapphire still got what she needed. There's for Copper, here's for Dexter. Oh no, oh no, I'm out of treats, I'm out of treats. Hang in there, Lavender. All right, good, so Lavender got her thing. Dexter's getting excited because we're starting to pass up other dogs. Oh, dang it, tree, that was bad. That was very bad. Okay, Lavender. And Sapphire, please, Sapphire, please. Ah, oh, got it, got it, good. All right, hang in there, Eggnog. You guys are gonna have to hang in. Okay, good, good, good. No, a tree again! <laughs> oh no, oh no, Eggnog had his little, like, fault moment where he just freaks out about nothing. Oh dear, and I just freaked out about everything. Okay, there we go. Got Sapphire, what she needed. So many trees! So many trees! Come on, Lavender. Yes, Lavender had another perfectly timed catch. Hang in there, Eggnog. Come on, buddy. Don't panic too badly. All right, good. They're doing so good. I'm so proud of them. Dang it, that tree. I thought there was only supposed to be one tree and there were like a bazillion trees in our way. Too many trees, too many trees. Come on, you guys. Pull ahead, pull ahead. <gasps> we just, just, just came in first. That was fantastic! Did you see that kind of like ace racing? I bet that guy, if I was him, I'd be ripping off my hat and throwing it in the snow and being like, ah, I was so close. Wonderful. All right, so skill increase on a couple dogs. Sapphire's fatigue is through the roof. Oh my gosh. That was really hard on my dogs. And unfortunately, it doesn't seem like Sapphire was able to enjoy um, like getting her aptitude up for anything. So darn, they're going to need a big rest now. All right, oh, and we can afford to hire another dog. Let's do it, you guys. And what we are really looking for this time is a dog breed that we don't have yet. So we've got a St. Bernard, we've got a Husky, we've got a Lab. 
There's a schnauzer and a shipu and another schnauzer and another Malamute and a chocolate lab. We don't have a chocolate lab yet. Oh my goodness. I get so excited. What is it with me and labs? We don't have a chocolate lab yet. But we don't have a shipu or interesting a schnauzer yet. So the fault on this shipu is sometimes it will choke and it's obedient. So I don't know if I would want that if we were going for like a dog at the front. But Joseph the fifth, that just sounds so fancy. It sounds like royalty. You know what I mean? I feel like this guy is like a little because you know, like the the way shipu or like Shih Tzu and other kinds of dogs were normally like held for certain royalty i kind of want to hire him and just see what his like good traits are but we can never get rid of him once we hire him um you know what we're gonna do it we're gonna take the risk on you look at <laughs> look at this face you guys doesn't he just look like a racer <laughs> let's go go okay come here come here joseph come on over you can you're just gonna we're gonna keep you that's fine all right joseph let's see what you look like there he is joseph the fifth He's adorable. He's actually seriously adorable. All right, so let's go ahead and let our dogs rest. And then we'll try going on a race with Joseph and we'll see how he does. So everybody gets to rest, especially you, Sapphire. I want you to rested, rested, rested. She's gonna need a long time to just kind of relax. But that's okay, because we have Joseph to try putting at the front and seeing how he does. Dig it, Bear! Bear's happiness is now capped. So let's see. All right, let's see if we can open up her thing i need i think is it night races no placing up oh thank goodness we can easily fix that with bear then so we'll have bear out on the next race too it really is like you just juggle the dog's happinesses all right bear needs to go out if it's a night race that means miles and copper for sure um i think is it, well let me check copper 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 eggnog can we go copper yeah night race because copper and eggnog are like the same kind of dog, so I could easily mix them up. We have so many dogs. This is awesome. All right, snowy weather. There is sufficient restock, three dog team, tree farm to fire bull kennel. All right, let's go ahead and enter. And I'm actually going to swap Dexter out with Joseph because I want him to try just having a good time. And then chicken, we're gonna put chicken in the middle and I need bear out. So, oh my goodness, look at this. This is a whole new setup. We normally don't have like Dexter, Lavender, Miles, like all out at the same time. So it's a little surreal to switch over to these dogs, but we're gonna do it. So Bear, Chicken, and Joseph the Fifth. Let's give them a race and see how they do. Racing our little Shipu. All right, there you go, buddy. And there's some for you. And some for you. And some for you. All right, yeah, we're doing okay so far. There's enough treats that I can kind of keep them topped off. Ah, oh, tree! Most of the time. Our royal little shipu. All right, let's make this jump. Good job, good job, guys. Uh-oh, chicken. Chicken. Oh dear. Messing up, messing up, messing up. Panicking, panicking, panicking. Oh boy. That flash like threw me off so that I wasn't able to get what I needed done. That's okay, we're restocking treats, so it's okay. I wonder if Joseph is gonna be a natural leader. Maybe he's some, from some sort of like royal line of dogs and he's like, this is, this comes naturally to me. We also need to find out what his favorite thing is. Whoops. So far, I, like his fault is choking up now and then, so maybe he gets consumed with self-doubt. It's not perfect catches. Oops, sorry about that. Sorry about that, buddy. Oh, no, dang it. Wasting treats, wasting treats. All right, there you go, chicken. Missed you again, chicken. I'm so sorry. Look at these guys. They're so happy to be placing up. All right, come on, guys. But Joseph isn't so happy, so I'm actually intrigued now. It's really fun when you get a new dog and you're trying to figure out Joseph the fifth's favorite. Is it winning? Is it winning? Is that his favorite thing? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. 
So his fatigue has gone up a little bit, but his skill has increased. Fame has gone up on chicken, which is fantastic. I'm so sad we lost some of the fame that Lavender earned for us because you have to go in order when you unlock the treat bags. And I tried to jump a stage because we had such a high fame level. Doesn't work. It doesn't let you have the increased treat bag. But Joseph's favorite thing. Chicken's fame level is one. I don't think we can do anything with it. I think, see, because we can only like get this line up and we're at this line up right now. So we just have to confirm. And now we can ask our friend Raleigh what Joseph's favorite thing is. Joseph the Fist ha has a favorite thing that I don't recognize. His favorite thing is victory. He will get a happiness boost from winning races. That is so cool. You are, you are just, ah, oh, you are just such a fun little dog. I love you, Joseph. You're just so cool. And apparently we can afford to hire another dog, but I doubt we want to because dues are going to be coming due pretty soon. Oh, this is awesome. I really, I was worried about getting something like a Shipu for our races, but it turns out he totally is fine. He didn't have his aptitude towards, um, like his natural specialty show up. Oh boy. Oh, that's Miles. I need a night race. <laughs> having, having dogs who need, oh, thank goodness, a night race. Having dogs who need night races makes it very difficult. Oh my gosh, this place is going to be full of trees, full of rocks, long, three dog sled team. Whew. All right, this is going to be interesting. Should I keep Bear? Um, well, Chicken and Joseph are both going to have to go because I need my two night dogs out. And that's going to be Miles and Copper so that they have something that makes them happy. And then as far as strong dogs go, is Eggnog strong? No, he's obedient. Lavender. I think we're going to go ahead and put Lavender out. Maybe? I kind of want to keep Bear out, but is she exhausted right now? Because she has a strong personality, but I wonder if that doesn't mean that she's just naturally suited the way that the way that our wonderful Lavender is to be... Can I not check any other dogs? Are these all my dogs? Obedient. Chicken. You're steady. Eggnog is obedient. Strong. Obedient. Dexter, you are steady. Um, yeah, I think Bear is the only other strong dog we have. So let's go ahead. We're going to bring Bear out, even though it's a long race. Because I want her to hopefully be able to get her skills up. Like, or get aptitude assigned somehow. All right, guys, we got this. Oh, no, you don't, Eggnog. What the heck is this about? All right, jump for it, everybody. All right. Too far for Miles. Dang it, that was too far for Miles. Miles, hang in there. We got this. All right, there we go. Get that tree out of the way. So it's a nice long night race. So hopefully I can have, <gasps> they're all Labradors. I just realized we have all Labradors racing. Dang it. Why can I not get Miles his food he needs? Oh my gosh. Oh dear, that startled me. All right. I'm gonna have to just get a little bit more creative with throwing these. I wonder how many dogs you can have. I think someone said you can have as many dogs as you want. Like you can just infinitely, continually build up like this giant kennel full of dogs. That sounds both amazing and like something that would be so hard to deal with. Cause imagine if you had a bunch of night loving dogs and you could only take a couple of them out every now and then. Let's see. Everybody's specialties just kicked in. Which is great, because now we're actually making some grounds in this race. Dang it, Miles, why can I not feed you? I need to work a little more carefully on trying to feed him. All right, hang in there, Lavender. Why did I throw something to Miles? I don't know, is it gonna get to him? It got to him! They're really getting tangled more frequently than they usually do tonight. All right, hang in there, guys. We can do this. You're all such good dogs. We're in third place now. Don't let that tree get in our way. All right, they're excited because we're placing up. All right, come on, come on. So many things to jump over tonight. Ah, oh, dang it, I need to get, need to get copper, copper, copper. There we go, miles, miles. Come on, lavender, lavender. Why do, why do I suck at throwing things? Why is there a tree in the way? Don't let him trip. We're almost to the end. We're in first place. Our little sheep who would be so happy. Come on, Copper. Yes, he got his boost. We're doing this and we crossed the finish line. 
there we go. That was a very good night race. Well, that made me super happy. All right. So, oh my gosh, what's this? Wheel specialty, finally, finally, she is able at the wheel specialty. I wonder if that means she earned it. So Bear has possibly finally earned her wheel specialty, or maybe that just means that she's like experienced at it. Able is new, normally it says level one. So does that mean she's a better middle dog? Huh, huh. And Miles is pretty tired. His lead specialty is up to three as usual. Middle specialty still on copper. So, ah, that's interesting. We can afford the qualifying race for League 6. Well, not now, because we need to let a lot of our dogs rest. But there you go, Bear. So, Aptitude, Wheel 1, has finally... Oh, she's a natural lead! I missed that! How did I miss that? I thought that the strong dog was always going to be a wheel dog. Somehow that went right over my head. Does that mean can I look at everybody else's aptitudes? Don't really have much for the others, so the more we send them out. Copper, what about you? Um, is tired. He will will himself to recuperate, which is amazing. So yeah, it tells he's able at the wheel, but he's a natural in the middle. Oh, bear. How on earth are you a natural in the lead? I had no idea. Well, next time we're going to have to go through all of our dogs. I think I, I just totally misunderstood something at some point. Joseph, we're going to have to send Joseph out. And we're just going to have to figure out their aptitudes at everything. So, Chicken, what about you? Natural in the middle. Able at the wheel. I see now. Somehow, over my head, all of this went. Yep, natural in the middle, able at the wheel. Okay. So, Bear, you're supposed to be in the middle. Well, geez, now I know that. <laughs> so, we'll make sure that we try to line everybody up more appropriately and just test them out and see where they're supposed to go next time. But, all right, you guys, so we're going to try to qualify for more of the league races. We are going to definitely try to collect more dogs and just continue to have a wonderful, relaxing time in the winter months with the awesome dog sled, so dog sled saga. There we go. And I actually, I'm really happy about our Shifu. So we're probably going to collect as many of those guys as we possibly can. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.